Hey you guys, what's up? It's Vicky J, and it's time for an empties video. I've been holding on to these products for a little bit, so I was like, let me hurry up and do this so I can get rid of these collecting dust and my daughter keeps pulling the drawer open and throwing them all over the place so let, let's get it over with shall we i have been of course using my products and going through them and um there are some things that i will definitely be repurchasing and some things that i won't first up clinique liquid facial soap oily skin formula this was just okay I received it as like a promotional thing um, where they gave me like a coupon to get it for free so I did um, and it was a it was a young it was like it did the job of keeping like my acne at bay and keeping my skin clean or whatever but I didn't I felt like I could get like the exact same results from something else um, it is an affordable product so I will say that like if you don't want to spend more than $20 on your cleanser then she's your girl um it balanced my skin you know it did a good job it's just that i feel like i'm ready for something else so i'm um i have a product that i received from influencer that i'm going to be trying for a little while and see how i feel about that but ultimately i don't really feel like i'll be purchasing this again um unless unless i have to economize in terms of my skincare then i would definitely go for it i think that it's really great and affordable in that regard but I feel like I can I, I need some hydration you know and I don't feel like this is really giving me that so I'm gonna move on to something else for now next up I have body shop body butter that I always get from TJ Maxx <laughs> and it is $6.99 from TJ Maxx instead of $21 at Ulta or at the actual body shop because why the hell would you do that you see what I'm saying like if you have a TJ Maxx why would you do that I will definitely be purchasing this again from TJ Maxx. This particular flavor was, uh, flavor, <laughs> this particular scent was mango. Um, it was nice. I, I like clean scents or scents that kind of fade into the background because I like for my fragrance to be the girl that stands out. So for me, mango is not exactly, you know, the most compatible in that regard but um i certainly wouldn't mind purchasing it again i mean it smells good you know if they didn't have anything else i, I would buy her <laughs> so um all of that to say i absolutely will be repurchasing body butter from body shop because this is my favorite moisturizer all right so next up is the tgin buttercream daily moisturizer i can't find this anywhere y'all and i love her a lot this is bomb so um this is a this has shea butter vitamin e um avec no that's that's literally the same thing in french it, it feels so good i use this for myself and my daughter and it feels amazing it smells bomb and it really is like a great daily moisturizer i got it for five dollars at tj maxx man it's normally i well it was $10.99 and I got it for $5 at TJ Maxx. So I've been looking for it ever since because I really, really want to use this. I was able to find the Twist and Define Cream, which is similar in consistency and kind of gives us, you know, kind of gives a little pop to the curls. But man, I really want this again. So yes, I will be repurchasing it if I can find it. Another TJ Maxx item. I need to be doing some TJ Maxx hauls. Go ahead and like this video and let me know if you want me to do TJ Maxx hauls because I, I get it in over there all kinds of random stuff it's just such a great place so this is nature's hemp hemp oil body wash in the eucalyptus scent again that's something that's right up my alley eucalyptus scent and um this shower gel was like this lasted for months and this was only eight dollars was 7.99 i can't even see the price anymore about 7.99 yes yes it is designed to moisturize your skin and leave it feeling soft and smooth it definitely did for me i felt like i didn't need as much moisturizer when i used it so i feel like it's a really great product and um, if i see it again like this exact one then i would absolutely purchase it again okay 
So the next item is from Oyen Handmade. This is Juices and Berries Nourishing Herbal Leave-In Hair Tonic. It is not a leave-in conditioner per se, but it, it's like a, I use it like a curl refresher. Juices and Berries. Because <laughs> I love the phrase Juices and Berries because that's what they say, you know, when the naturalistas get into their natural, you know, start filming themselves as naturalistas. They start using Juices and Berries and making their own shea butters and stuff. So I love that this company, this black-owned family business... <laughs> Name their product juices and berries. It cracks me up every time. <laughs> it smells amazing. Um, it does its job. It's very nourishing. You just mist, you know, you don't have to drench your hair. You just refresh the curl or whatever because, you know, after you've been laying on it, sometimes you've got kind of asymmetric thing happening. And so I just use it to freshen my curls. I really like it. I use it on my daughter too. Everything I use on myself, I use on her because it's fairly natural and great for her hair. Back when, before Nala was born, my mom purchased a sample kit of Oyen handmade products so that we could figure out what would work for her hair. And these are the majority of the products. I think it came with like five, but these uh, are the ones that are currently gone. And so this is green juice, which I have a large version of, I believe, in here. Do I have it in here? No, I've already used it up. <laughs> but green juice is, or Greg juice, I'm sorry, not green juice. Greg juice is uh, one of the items that we regularly use. And I believe this is um, a curl refresher as well. Yep, leave-in hair tonic. It's just like juices and berries, except it's Greg juice. It's like a little different. Uh, but they're both like curl refreshers or moisturizers for your hair. Like a leave-in uh, nourishing formula. So that was for her. And then um, honey hemp conditioner I used as a leave-in conditioner for her rather than a rinse out. And I think it worked out very well for her hair. I would absolutely purchase this um, again for her. And then um, the burnt sugar pomade, I shared this with her because I felt like, um, you know, I would, first of all, I would never run out of it and say if I just used it on her hair because the burnt sugar pomade is kind of like a styling agent and it um, smooths down edges and stuff like that. So I really just used it to put like little puffs in her hair or whatever. And then I would use it on myself every now and then as well, like to define a part or something. Like if I was wearing my hair out in a fro, I would use the burnt sugar pomade to define my fro. Smells good, okay? It's banger. Mm -hmm. It really smells like brown, like, like cooked sugar it smells really really good and it melts like it, it's a kind of a grainy consistency and then you rub it in your hands and it melts and you just apply it to where you want to you know soft hold on your edges i thought it was nice would i buy it no probably not just because i feel like edge control does the same thing um yeah it's it's i uh, this is hair do this is the uh lotion for your hair so you could treat this as like a daily moisturizer as well if you want like a light moisturizer i think this would be really great for that and i would repurchase this for both myself and for nala one thing i will say about onion handmade is that i wish it was a little more accessible it used to be available in some of my local targets but i've noticed that like y'all i have been all over the place looking for for um onion handmade it's very hard to find i really wish it was more accessible because they are great products and um you know of course black owned um, nobody knows your hair better than the people who also have your hair. You know what I mean? So I, I really like buying from them. Similarly priced stuff, you know, to all the other girls in, in the uh, stores for natural hair care. Very similarly priced. So I feel like, you know, it's a very small business. They, and their products are universal. You can use them for men, women, and children. So um, if you haven't heard of Oyen, definitely check them out. I found mine. Um, since I couldn't find them in Target, um, you can find them on the website, on the Target website, or you can actually purchase them from Amazon. I tried buying them from the Oyen website and I was not successful. So, I don't know, y'all. That, that might be something to look into, you know, like an e-commerce site. This is my girl. This is my favorite. I feel like I have bought like 10 of these. <laughs> so I, no question will I buy it again. Of course I will. Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. Perfect Edges Edge Control. This holds perfectly for me. If you are somebody who needs like a stronger hold, then ORS um, Olive Oil Edge Control is much better. Um, better suited for you. I felt like that was too stiff for me. And I felt like it like froze my hair. 
was a little team too much for me. I like this one because it's nourishing. And I, and I feel like it's nourishing. Like my hair lays down when I want it to lay down. And then by the end of the day, it's starting to like soften and curl up. Like the product is melting into my hair and conditioning it. So I like it better for that for that reason. Um, and that's why I continuously purchase it. Again, they're simil similarly priced. I think there might be a less than a dollar difference between the two, at least in my local Target and Walmart. So um, that's I just go with it because I prefer it. Next up is Sunny Isles um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this was the liquid version. I have since converted to the butter version because I found it in, you guessed it, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, actually. Um, so the butter version is like another, it's a, it's not a glass bottle, it's a glass jar. And I have purchased three of those. So that, that's going to be lasting us a long time. All three of us use it. Solomon, myself, and Nala. I treat it uh, as a sealant as well as a scalp nourisher. So um, I seal in Nala's moisture uh, with this product and massage her scalp at the same time. I use it for myself as a scalp massage, you know, as a scalp treatment. And then um, for Solomon, he uses it like all over because he just kind of rubs it in. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really great product. Um, the liquid form is great for um, direct application to the scalp. I think the butter version is really great if you want to use it on your hair, like if your hair is really uh, super thick or, um, or coarse in texture and you want to hold moisture in. Um, I think it would be really great for that. So. This stuff is amazing. JCBO, it helps promote hair growth as well. Grew back these edges so I could get some faux locks. <laughs> All right, and I have like one makeup product technically, which is my travel size Prep and Prime uh, Fix Plus from MAC. Um, I might keep this little jar, I mean this little bottle because I have the full size one uh, over there uh, that I use for setting my face. Um, my powder products so I might actually keep this little jar but I just wanted to show you guys that it was empty so I might keep this jar for travel or um, you know on the go stuff when I want to when I need it next up is a skincare item this is from Peter Dr. Peter Thomas Roth and it's AHA ABA acne clearing gel this is what I put on my face um, right after I wash it before I moisturize it so this is that girl that is like my acne treatment um, and I feel like it's been working. I mean, what y'all think? How's she looking? You know, like, how's she looking? <laughs> I feel like she looking pretty good. I got a, like a little stray dot here and there, but generally I feel like I'm doing pretty all right. Stuff is really great. I already, I already ordered another one um, and it lasts a long time. You only need about one to two pumps of it to get your whole face. Um, I go down the neck with it as well. And um, it lasts me anywhere from two to three months. So I feel like it's a really great um, value. It's around like the 50 to 55 dollar range for the bottle. It's a glass bottle. Uh, keep it in a cool spot and um, it, it'll treat you real good. Uh, it's very gentle. The AHA ABA is that uh, BHA? The AHA BHA is really great for uh, people of color. If you are um, you know, looking for an acne treatment in that regard. There are certain chemicals that um, are better suited for um, non-melanated skin than melanated skin. So you may want to look into that. I did. I, I did my Googles and that's how I found out about it. And uh, as well as uh, chemical peels versus um, abrasive or chemical exfoliants versus like actual abrasive exfoliants are better for melanated skin as well because we are prone to hyperpigmentation. So, um, yeah check it out. Lastly is a baby product. It's for Nala and uh, this is Honest Company's Face and Body Lotion in Pure Simple which is fragrance free. Uh, this stuff I will not be purchasing again. I didn't like it. I did not feel like it actually provided moisture. Uh, as most for me lotion doesn't moisturize. Lotion temporarily gets rid of ash. I don't feel like it really penetrates. I don't feel like you know it doesn't do enough for me. I'm an oils and butters kind of girl. So uh, we tried this out for Nala because, you know, she's a baby, you know, she doesn't, you know, we just wanted to see how it would work for her. I didn't like, I don't like the idea of using like really thick moisturizers on her skin. Uh, but uh, right now we use Vaseline <laughs> and that's working just fine. Her skin is smooth, clear, moisturized, boom. 
so that's why we're not gonna be buying this again it just I had to use it way too much to keep her moisturized so it's not a winner uh, and I really love Honest Company products they actually have a body oil that I love that I think works wonderfully and we have like backup of that because I love it so much but not the lotion girl that's that's I don't even know who that works for so that's it that's all she wrote I hope you did enjoy this uh, empties video if you did you know what to do give me a thumbs up and let me know uh, if you're not yet a J-Bay you should definitely click that red subscriber button if you haven't already I feel like you should have done it at the beginning of the video even though I didn't tell you I feel like you should have just knew that you know what I mean but if you haven't you can go right ahead and click that it turns from red to gray and then you are automatically a J-Bay J-Bays are the best bays in YouTube they're my bays who tune in whenever I upload and we chit chat and all that uh, so I hope that you can uh, let me know in the uh, ch chat section, in the comment section, <laughs> if you could let me know uh, what products you've been using lately and uh, whether or not you will be repurchasing them, what your tried and trues are, which faves are, uh, something that you think I might be interested in. Uh, I would certainly love to try it and let you know. All right. So I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And until the next video. Mm -hmm.